Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the 33%. This is episode 4 of Talking Dirty with Ruff. Today, I'm going to do a little review on Avengers Disassembled. I'll give it, well, first leading up to that, <clears throat> I was trying to decide what I'm doing, what I've been doing. So I've been doing like uh, three TV movies, like a, maybe one or two shows and a movie. And then next week I'll do comic books, storylines, and uh if you don't like yet, you want me to do something else, let me know. But I was going to do Civil War. I had the Civil War books pulled out, the uh, Road to Civil War and Civil War trade and Original Sin <coughs> trade as well. And I was like, well, it's kind of hard to, there's so much stuff that went on before that that's relevant to it. So I so said, well, I'll do House of M. And uh, there's some stuff that happened in, Dis in Avengers Disassembled that's very relevant to House of M. So I'm going to start with Avengers Disassembled and go all the way through. It's like 10 big crossovers over several years. But I'm starting, uh, this is what started the Avengers Disassembled event. This is Avengers 500. The, this is the director's cut. I've got, I've got the whole set, but I didn't really feel like digging it all out. I just got the one issue to show y'all. So it starts out, that's it. To give y'all an idea of the timeline of this, I just started reading comics again towards the end of this. And it was uh, just before the new Avengers run, but the Avengers disassembled, had fit, it was finishing, was wrapping up. It was uh, There were several crossover books of Spider-Man, Captain America, and Falcon, Captain America, and Thor. Uh, I think there was a couple others, but those were the big ones. And uh, I've told Kevin story, this story a bunch of times. Astonishing X-Men was coming out at the time. And uh, they had new riders that was doing a lot of a lot of cool stuff, and it was the the cover that's just got Wolverine's claws on it, like it's just his hand and his and the claws. And it had been on back order at the comic shop. It was Mind Games in Seven Points at the time is where I went. <clears throat> I played some Magic there, but I've more done comic books. I didn't hardly play competitive Magic, and. I'd been waiting, I kept going in to get it and kept going in to get it and they didn't have it and they didn't have it and they didn't have it. Well I went in finally and they did have it and the owner's like, man, this other book's been on back order, you gotta, you ought to check this out. I'm like, well what's it about? He said, well it's an image comic. And I've never particularly cared for the ind image or uh, Malibu, the kind of more independent publisher. I said, ah, I don't know, what's it about? And he's like, well it's this, this zombie outbreak. This book's been, been on back order. They're talking about doing a, a second print like it's really, really hot. So what book is it? It was Walking Dead number one. He had like 10 copies. And I was like, man, I'm, I'm not interested in that. It's just some fad, you know. <laughs> Anyways, that's how I passed up the most expensive book that's been <laughs> printed in the last 20 years. That wasn't a variant or anything. You know, it's just a normal comic. Okay. I don't know. I kicked myself for it, but at the same time, nobody had no idea that, what it was going to do. Anyways, back to Avengers Disassembled. Starts out, Jack of Hearts arrives at the Avengers Mansion, and he's a uh, zombified. He looks all like he's all messed up, and I think Ant Man. Yeah, Ant Man comes up and talks to him. And starts like, man, what's going on? I know you died because he died saving Ant Man's daughter. Best I can remember. Anyways, <clears throat> he blows up. He just explodes. Uh, Meanwhile, somewhere else, Wanda, the Scarlet Witch, arrives at the United Nations where she has a conversation with Cap, who announced that he is ending their fledgling relationship. Furious, she uses her powers to cause Tony to suddenly become drunk and belligerent at an important meeting where the Avengers would have, would have their UN security clearance revoked following the events of Secret War, attempting to pick a fight with a Latvian ambassador. The Avengers' UN charter is revoked, and as Iron Man leaves, Hank Pym in the lurch to respond to Code White from the Avengers Mansion. So it like it cuts back to that and then it goes back forward. <clears throat> Leaving the uh oh yeah. Vision drives a Quinjet into the Avengers Mansion. And when he comes out he starts fighting, he vomits up a bunch of eggs that make ultralines. They attack the Avengers. Uh, Doom, Doctor Doom, and Wanda. Which Wanda at this time, she's went crazy because 
her kids had died, but they wasn't actual kids. They was, she had made them through magic because, you know, I don't know if all y'all know, uh, Scarlet Witch is in the uh, comic universe, one of the most powerful beings there is. She has uh, the power to warp reality and change time and change everything. She does, too. She This really starts a uh, series of events it goes through House of M, uh, Civil War, it goes through a lot of them and it's a, a real growth for Wanda that is finally culminated I think with Avengers vs. X-Men. I'm sure they'll do more stuff with it but at the time when they make the following that series of stories when they finish up with Avengers vs. X-Men her character is made to full rotation, full breadth of you know what she's going to do and what all she's powerful, how how all she can handle herself. She, uh, anyways, they're watching the shadows. She, she hulks, she hexes, she hulk, and she's got this bloodlust. She rips vision apart, and then she starts fighting with the walls and Cap Captain Britain. She, she hulks subdued by Iron Man and Captain America. Hank Pym joins them and rushes walls to the hospital, returning. Hank reels to Cap and the team of Iron Man's drunken outburst to the UN and UN's decision to revoke their charter. The superhero community gathers at the match and the Avengers do not know. Several of the members are constructs created by the possessed wand on behalf of Dr. Doom to spy on the Avengers. As they fear, Ultron, Ultron may be behind the attack. Doom orders Wanda to summon an armada of Kree soldiers to attack Manhattan and ensue in battle. Hawkeye is killed when his arrows are hit, causing an explosive to go off. In his dying moment, Hawkeye takes out a Kree battleship in the blast after taking flight with a commandeered Kree jetpack. He don't take the jetpack. He uh, realizes what's happened because he's got the you know he's got different kinds of arrows and he's got them in his uh, I can't think of what's called quiver in in his back and he knows what it's like. he's like oh crap you know it's about to blow up not like this not like this and he runs over and he grabs a Kree soldier and he flies up into uh, one of the ships and blows it up. Once that happens, they start, uh, the Kree start retreating. In the middle of all this, Doctor Strange appears for the first time since the Dark Dimension invasion several months prior. His memory is altered due to Baron Mordo's meddling. He immediately suspects Scar Witch of being responsible and accuses her of having turned against the Avengers in a fit of madness over the loss of her children, triggered by Walsh's comment about aborting her and Hawkeye's would-be children. Strange, no longer familiar with chaos magic due to Mordo, also assumes that Wanda's ability to launch such a complex scheme indicates she's a high-level reality warper and that she must be taken down ASAP before she threatens the world in her current mental state. The Avengers visit Agatha Harkness' home, where the life force possessed Wanda has been left alone by Doom to eliminate the Avengers, summoning an army of constructs including a version of Rogue and Red Skull, Red Skull and a group of SS troops. The Life Force entity attempts to destroy the Avengers before Doctor Strange uses the Eye of Agamotto to put Wanda into a coma. However, by this point, Professor X sends Magneto to retrieve Wanda from the Avengers, much to Captain America's dismay and horror. Reluctantly, he allows Magneto to take his daughter with him after he vows to help her. This starts a lot of problems with, uh, with Cap, too. Because he's he's trying to, and that's that's what happens in the Avengers. It and it ends up uh, once they get the UN charter revoked, they don't have the money to keep going. Tony Stark can't fund them no longer, and uh, they break up. And after that, it's two new. Uh, it's the new Avengers title, which had a Wolverine in it for the first time, and uh, I think Avengers Academy was the name of the other one, and it was. Uh, children of all of a lot of the other superheroes the uh there's a lot been a lot of talk about superheroes dying and stuff this was a big deal when this happened they killed a uh, hawkeye they killed vision they killed ant-man like just in a few issues and this is when i want to say it was brian michael bendis had come to come to the avengers uh, title to the flag making and made it what it is now because he took the Avengers had always been kind of a B-list 
team. I mean, they've, there's don't get me wrong, they've had good storylines in the past, and there's always been a wide breadth of characters to choose from, but they wasn't always the top tier team like the Fantastic Four was. Fantastic Four was a really big deal at the time. And uh, the X-Men has all, ever since the uh, 90s, you know, or the X-Men cartoons and stuff, they've been one of the big flagships for Marvel. The X-Teams, it wasn't just the X-Men. You know, you got X-Men, X-Factor, X-Force, New Mutants, all them, the whole X-Universe, Generation X, and all that. <coughs> the, uh, let's see, Captain America... In the wake of Avengers Disassembled, the two new two new Avengers series was created. New Avengers and what's that, Young Avengers, that was the other one. Scarlet Witch's storyline continues in Excalibur where Magneto and Professor X try to help her novel. And that leads into the House M miniseries, which will be the next one I review. And this is now this event is now considered by Marvel editors, is the first part of a long series of events which include House of M, Decimation, Planet Hulk, Civil War, The Initiative, Endangered Species, World War Hulk, Messiah Complex, Divided We Stand, Secret Invasion, Manifest Destiny, Dark Reign, Messiah War, Utopia, Nation X, and Necrotia. All these grim events lead up to Siege in 2010, which ushers in a new heroic age for Marvel, and X-Men's Second Coming, which sees the slow rebirth of Earth's mutant population. As for the Avengers killed during Disassembled Saga, they have all returned to life in separate events. They, uh, <coughs> it was a real big deal they killed Hawkeye. Ant-Man, it turns out Ant-Man didn't get killed. He got transported away. Uh, Hawkeye was rematerialized re by Wanda during the House of M. Ant-Man was rescued by the time-traveling young Avengers during the Children's Crusade. Uh, brought to the prison along with it. and then he's brought back with the young Avengers the vision is successfully rebuilt by Tony Stark after fear itself Jack Hartz is restored by a team of scientists project Pegasus during the assault of a pack of zombified clones of Squadron Supreme a source of zero point energy aggregates taking the corporal form of Jack Hart I don't think that he ever actually fully comes back that's the that's the Avengers Disassembled storyline in a nutshell. It's a lot. It's a it's a really good read, and uh, it's a better. It's. I don't know. I hate to say that because I know people love to collect comics. I love to collect comics, but a lot of these runs like this, it's easier to pick them up in trades because you can get like the complete Avengers Disassembled trade, and it should have all the crossovers with it. Spider Man, what's going on with him? Because he gets bit by. I forgot how, and it's not, it don't even say on this page I've got loaded, but he gets bit by like a spider queen, and she's coming back to America because America abandoned her. She's trying to take revenge on America because America abandoned her during World War II, and it, I will say it like impregnates spider powers into him so he can, uh, create real webs out of his hands and he has a, a connection with in, all insects something like that fantastic four has got a small crossover in it it was a pretty big uh and it wasn't unprecedented there's been a lot bigger crossovers like uh the acts of vengeance there's been crossovers that was just marvel wide this one wasn't this one didn't involve the x-men some of the lighter ones did fear itself did and uh and I, I don't think it ends with that the way this says, because it goes on. Stuff that happened in Disassembled plays a role in Avengers vs. X Men. A lot of the the characters, the the riffs that start forming in Avengers Disassembled that you don't see for a long time really come to a head with Avengers vs. X Men. And Avengers vs. X Men, my probably my favorite Marvel crossover with a, a close second being Age of Apocalypse. I really enjoyed the Age of Apocalypse story line, which that was when I was a, a pretty young kid still reading. I wasn't just a, a kindergartner reading those, but my mother did teach me to read in kindergarten comic books with X-Men comic books. Anyways, guys, um, this is the first video. I'll probably watch it and upload it real quick, and then uh, I'm going to make another video, kind of a special one, reviewing uh, 
uh, Iron Man storyline that's uh, relevant to me. And I'll probably upload it tomorrow. I may upload it later tonight. I haven't decided yet. But anyways, uh, again, thanks everyone for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If, uh, if there's any criticism or if y'all enjoying what I'm doing, let me, let me know. Send me a message on Facebook or something. Uh, as always, like, share, and subscribe. Have a good day.